वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ मल्टीपल कार रिलेशन यूजिंग एक्सेल एस अ कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ कार रिलेशन सीरीज एस यू नो कार रिलेशन हेल्प्स इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन डिपेंडेंट एंड इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स सो हियर इन मल्टीपल कार रिलेशन आई हैव अ ब्रीफ डिस्क्रिप्शन the multiple correlation which measures the degree to which one variable is correlated with two or more other variables so that's the reason it have been termed as multiple correlation a multiple correlation coefficient is denoted by capital r which yields the maximum degree of linear relationship that can be obtained between two or more independent variables and a single dependent variable so this can be clearly understood when we work out a problem of a multiple correlation using excel the multiple correlation coefficient is denoted by s r and we have the independent variables from a to k which denotes as a is correlated with b c d up to k variables so by this small description we will take a small problem and we will work it out using data analysis tool as well as add ins tool in excel guys it's very easy to follow the steps both in data analysis as well as in add ins in excel and you can use it in your research related to the ranking questions shall we proceed yes i have a problem for you a survey conducted in bangalore city where a given brand of potato chips has been evaluated by 100 customers each consumer gave a rating on 1 to 5 scale for four attributes the attributes saltiness sweetness acidity and crunchiness these are all termed as independent variables and the survey have been conducted for by using five like it scale from 1 to 5 1 means little and 5 is a lot and then they gave a overall liking score on 1 to 10 like it scale so this what the problem and now we are going to do checking of how the attributes are correlated with the liking score the attributes like saltiness sweetness acidity and crunchiness are how correlated with the liking score so here the liking score is termed as the dependent variable so i have the data of 100 consumers representing their preferences related to saltiness sweetness acidity crunchiness and liking score for potato chips for a brand i have a 100 data from 100 consumers right and for our easy understanding i have just made a degree of correlation this we have already discussed in our correlation basics when the degree of correlation is from 0.00 to 0.19 it is termed as very weak and when it is from 0.80 to 1 it is termed as very strong so we are going to confirm whether the independent variables like saltiness sweetness acidity crunchiness are correlated with the dependent variable liking score so i'm going to use two methods one is using data analysis and another one is add in step first we'll work out with data analysis tab i'm just clicking data where i can get data analysis tab here i'm clicking this i will get a window data analysis window where i'm going to choose correlation giving okay so it is asking the input range I'm going to select all the data 100 data yes and it is grouped by columns 
its default yes since i have taken labels i'm going to include labels in first row and output range i want the output here giving okay that's it got the result so this what the result we have derived with the help of data analysis tool just made some modification for clear understanding here saltiness sweetness acidity crunchiness are termed as the independent variables whereas the dependent variable is liking scores now related to saltiness it is correlated the correlated value is 0.28 for sweetness it is 0.031 for acidity it is a minus 0.06 we can confirm that it is negatively correlated and crunchiness it have a good sign 0.4382 so this is the calculation for a multiple correlation in confirming whether the dependent variables are correlated with the independent variables like a saltiness sweetness acidity and crunchiness so out of which acidity is negatively correlated and all the other things are positively correlated but we can confirm which occupies good enough with the help of the table what we have already made it i'm just taking this and for 0.002.19 sweetness and acidity is negatively correlated sweetness so very weak you can confirm sweetness right 0.202.39 i have the result saltiness right it's weak but whereas crunchiness is 0.402.59 as we have found it is 0.43 so crunchiness is a moderate having a moderate correlation for liking score and out of these independent variables no variable is correlated with the liking score in a strong manner so we can confirm it as the problem ask us to check how the attributes are correlated with the liking score now i'm just going to confirm with the help of add ins megastat this is the another method in excel i'm just clicking add ins using megastat where i can find correlation as a regression i'm going to choose correlation matrix it will ask a input range i'm just going to select all the data yes i have selected giving okay i will get an output in the next page the correlation matrix for saltiness sweetness acidity crunchiness as well as the liking scores have been displayed here you can find the same correlation value calculated based upon add in step which is same as 
the results what we have found in data analysis tab. Like X4 for saltiness is 0.28, sweetness 0.031, acidity minus 0.06, and crunchiness 0.43. In output, like X4 for saltiness is 0.280, sweetness 0.031, acidity minus 0.63 and crunchiness 0.438 and we have a p value plus or minus 0.197 for each and every independent variable we can compare it with the p value and we can test the hypothesis also so this is the second method in confirming the car multiple correlation using excel that's it friends if you have any queries you post it we'll discuss a regression model in our next session thank you